Jackie, you recently found yourself in some hot water. She has loved on me. But Simone, that's not a reason to be upset with her. I want to hear from Quad. It just goes to show that money does not buy class. Y'all have all this education and y'all still lack coof. Be so effing for real. Heavenly, it all comes back to your YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah, it does. I could not believe how pissed off y'all were with Dr. Simone and Dr. Jackie after watching the Married to Medicine reunion. When I say that y'all left me too stunned to speak, I literally couldn't say nothing. Here's me, here's me gagging. <laughs> it's Justin Diego back with another binge-worthy video. And today, we have to talk about how Dr. Simone, Quad, and Dr. Jackie moved forward after those really shocking revelations that broke the internet in part one of the reunion. All before we talk about how y'all are gonna have to back up off my good sis sweet tea because I'm not about to sit here and just watch y'all jump her. So, where's your husband? At home with my trip. children. Are you sure? Oh. Oh. If you watched part two of the Married to Medicine season 10 reunion, you know that things have really cooled down a lot because they know that our eardrums could not handle another hour of Dr. Simone screaming at the top of her lungs. She has loved on me. But Simone, that's not a reason to be upset with her. I want to hear from Quad. Thank if you. she stays honest, I stay quiet. She okay. lies, I'm talking. Okay. Instead, they showed Quad being genuinely vulnerable and opening up about how she's really been hurt. It's so weird. I was thinking you thought that I did that. I was doing that. And for you to sit here bleeding, it hurts me. <laughs> no, my bad, I'm sorry. And it was really nice to see that the medical mean girls are finally acting like the classy black doctors that we signed up for since they finally decided to hear Quad out. You know, I'm in your circle. You're out on the gram, kicking and having a good time. And that's good, because I don't have time. Like <laughs> Not like that. And I do feel like Dr. Jackie's point was kind of fair, and I definitely agree that it was time for them to go ahead and figure out a way to hash this out. We have to do better. We will do better. We're going to back 45 minutes. And that shifted the vibe of the entire Married to Medicine reunion. I'm happy to report that I feel like there was a really nice meeting of the minds between Quad and Dr. Jackie and Dr. Simone. Is that fair to say? It is. It's fair to say. Again, y'all, I was really, really shocked at how much y'all were completely done with Dr. Simone after what she did to Quad in part one of the Married to Medicine reunion. After Napa, after, Napa? after the Med Gala, she had an incident, a chick. At what, her what, home. What was it? Simone. In that moment, the energy really kind of felt like, okay, girl, like, I'm going to ask you twice. And if you're not going to tell us what happened, there's going to be some repercussions. And I just felt so bad because you can hear Quad literally begging Simone not to say it. Where her Simone. niece, her great niece, in her pool. Okay. I reached out to Quad. And she still put it out there. It is about our <laughs> real lives. <laughs> And y'all were really eating her up in the comments on that video here on YouTube and my binge watchers on Instagram were definitely going off too. But I was most shocked by the reaction that I got over on TikTok where my video about Dr. Simone went crazy. If you're not following me on TikTok, please, please, please go and do that right now. Because I really, really want to take Binge Worthy to the next level this year. And having the support of my binge watchers over on TikTok is really, really important to me. I don't feel like our conversation is finished. Like, I feel like there's more to be talked about. Now look, I already said that Dr. Simone has always been one of my favorite doctors on Married to Medicine. So y'all like, what are we gonna do now? I really, really hated how she let Andy Cohen use her to expose what really happened to Quad's niece to make a really nasty point and to drive her storyline. Now, my issue, to be clear, is not really with like how Quad is affected by this, but I'm thinking about that little girl and her family and how this was like their real life. I was angry. I was mad, I was hurt. The little girl was a whole minor, y'all, and I still cannot even imagine how this made that little girl's mom feel, but 
Apparently, it seems like Quad and Simone have found a way to move forward. We have lost out on a number of years, and I'm tired of it. I want it over. I receive it. But y'all, we gotta talk. Did you know that if you're ever seriously injured, your case could be worth millions? Yeah, I'm talking millions, and Morgan & Morgan does not mess around with any of those measly lowball offers. It's just not their style. And they've really been in their winning era lately, bagging a cool 12 million in Florida, which is 34 times the highest insurance offer. Then there's the jaw-dropping 26 million in Philadelphia, a crazy 40 times higher. And how about the 6.8 million in New York, which is 25 times the highest offer? Do y'all know what I could do with all that money? And let's be clear, all law firms are definitely not created equal. Morgan & Morgan stands out as the biggest for a reason. It's because they win a lot. So if you ever find yourself in an accident or injured in any way, don't sweat it. Just know how to play your cards right. Taking action is key and Morgan & Morgan is ready to roll up their sleeves and fight both tooth and nail to get you what you deserve. Oh, and here's the kicker. Working with them won't cost you a dime unless you win. And I know how much we all love free stuff. You can start a claim right now with America's largest injury law firm in just one click. Yeah, it's super easy and totally binge worthy. Just head over to www.forthepeople.com backslash binge worthy or click the link in my description to get started. Okay, y'all, is it just me or is this whole sweet tea hate train kind of getting a little boring? Quad also called your style jivey. I, she doesn't know me. I don't know well, I, I, why. I, can, I, I have a nice pair of eyes, 2020 vision, and I can see what I see. Ah. <laughs> Hilarious. Yeah, Andy was sitting there so entertained. Okay, but why are you checking for me? Well, they, I'm not checking for you at all. Okay, then why say anything about me in a question, A question was posed to me, sweetheart. I need to write this down. Oh. Okay. While these two beautiful black women were tearing into each other over a man who allegedly has a whole history of jumping on women. So there's just something about this that just does not sit right with me. You keep on bringing up Gregory. If you that's, move that's on, Gregory, then you that's should just my move relationship. On. Okay, my but relationship. why do you have to keep bringing it up? Yeah, I don't like that. But I did appreciate how Andy clocked that tea about how Toya would not like to be there sitting in quad shoes. Toya. Yes. You got divorced and his new wife joined the show. I know you would not love it for a minute. That drama would be great. All right. And Toya, girl, that was cute and everything for the show, but girl, <laughs> give me a break. <laughs> but I guess it's just me because y'all are definitely still eating sweet tea up in the comments. Talking about if sweet tea didn't want to talk to Quad about her and Greg, then why join the show where she's been on since season one, episode one? And Sweet Tea has to be delusional to think that Quad wouldn't talk about her ex-husband on her show. And she must know that she was brought on the show because they wanted and expected them to clash. With that being said, Quad was very nice to her, so I am so confused. Before another Mary to Medicine fan responded, Sweet Tea acts like she's the ex-wife who production got her ex and his new wife to show up on the show. Like, girl, chill. Okay. Oh, uh huh. And first of all, Unsweet Tea, <laughs> you are on Quad's platform, exclamation point. Quad can speak on you if she wants to, the fuck? This is Quad's group of friends. Who are you? And scene for the actress. And this shady binge watcher did not play with Letitia talking about it. You did everything to finagle your way onto this show, but now they're obsessed with you, question mark, exclamation point, Lipton, please. Oh, that's not. In the sense that, no. you know what I mean? And I'm not just gonna sit here and let y'all jump my good sis. Like, I get it. Y'all have flip-flopped and y'all are now team quad after watching her get beat up and drugged by the medical mean girls all season. <laughs> but y'all gonna have to back up. Did you know that? I didn't know that. No, you know. Ugh. Comment right now and tell me what you guys think about all this. 
do you think that everything has truly been forgiven between Quad, Dr. Simone, and Mrs. Jackie? Or do y'all think they finally have enough sense to realize that this show is gonna flop big time if they think for a second that they can continue to try to run this show without Miss Quad? Because baby, no. Not you. Not you. Thank you so much for watching this video all the way to the end. And thanks again, Morgan and Morgan, for making this video possible. You guys should really check out the link in my description below for more information. I'm too sick, yeah, I know I make it look easy, 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 easy. Yeah, tell them don't try to play me. Yeah, 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 I'm drippy on the daily. They can never count me out. They can never count me out, I know. They can never count me out. They can never count me out, I know. I make it look easy. Make it look, make it look easy. I know. Make it look, I make it look easy. Make it look, make it look easy. I know I make it look easy.